Cowboy. Making your ideas a reality. Hi guys, this is Alexander from Solar Leather Machines. Our phone number is 817-366-8105. And today I want to run you through a basic exercise of swapping out the spacers and the blades on a Cowboy CB818 belt strap cutter and fringe cutter. Uh, now there are several models out on the um, in the marketplace right now very similar to this. This basic operation will work the same on them so you can use them for reference as well. <clears throat> in this case all we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull the spacers off and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the spacers and then we're going to reassemble everything. So you skip forward as you need to. What you're going to need for this job is a set of cut resistant gloves and uh, you're going to need this little bar here from uh, uh, from the machine and then you're going to need a three millimeter allen wrench here so that should be all that we need for this first thing we want to do is of course put our gloves on these are a high flex brand uh, it's model 11-510 and um, they're actually kevlar lined uh, glove they're very very cut resistant and I like to use them a lot when I'm working with these because the blades are super duper sharp and uh, I don't like getting cuts on my hands. So um, the very first thing you want to do when you go to the machine is make sure that, that it's off. And so now we know that it's off. The second thing we want to do is drop this platform. This platform uh, allows the blades free and, and um, keeps interference from happening. Um, so it's going to make it easier. Uh, next, you want to make sure that this uh, guide here, if you have a guide or one or two of them, uh, but make sure that they are not uh, impinging on any of the blades or keeping the blades from sliding out. If for some reason that you do need to take them out, you just unscrew that and, and take it off. If you want to go back to the same place, you know, a Sharpie is always a good idea to do that. Okay. Next, we're going to take off this guide here, or sorry, the, the, the protective cover. And uh, it's not necessarily necessary for you to take this off, but it does make this whole operation just a little bit easier. So I'm going to take that off, set it to the side. It is made of Lexan, so you do want to be very careful about it, don't uh, scratch in it. Um, okay, so now we have the spacers bared, and then we have the blades here. Again, these blades are very, very sharp. So uh, getting there, so all we have to do now is uh, take this cover off. Now your machine may have just a bolt here instead of a handle. That's fine. Just take that bolt out. What I like to do when I take these off is I, I lay them out across the top of the machine in the order that I take them off just to keep things clear. Okay. From here we're going to take this cover off. Now this cover is not just a cover for this end of the machine but it's also a bearing housing for a set of needle bearings right in here. And so there's going to be a little greasy in there. It might be a little tight. If you need to, you can get a little screwdriver in here to uh, help pull it off. Uh, if you do it carefully, you won't chip any of the paint. It'll be fine. Pull it straight out. And if you turn it over, you'll see that you've got some index pins, and those will come important later on. Okay. Now here is the, uh, the bearing shaft, and uh, what we have to do now is we have to pull this nut off. This is a reverse threaded nut, and it can be on here kind of snug. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this black lever that we mentioned before. We're going to stick it into one of these holes, and we're going to turn it in a clockwise fashion. Clockwise is actually going to loosen it. Once it's loose, we should be able to spin it off by hand. There we go. All right, we're going to put that on top, put our tool down. All right, next thing we have to do is loosen up the fingers in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this three millimeter Allen wrench and we're going to loosen these fingers on the back here. And we're going to make sure that they're hanging free and they're not interfering with the blades. And we'll tighten those back up when we put everything back on. But we need to make sure that those are loose and not interfering with the blades. Okay, we're done with that. So at this point, we can just slide these spacers right off. Okay, and I'm going to reach in carefully. 
going to grab my first spacer. We're going to take it off and set it on top. And then we just start pulling the, uh, the blades and spacers off. Of course, we do this with great caution because these razor blades are very, very sharp. Okay, so that's probably all we're going to do for right now, but I do want to talk a little bit about the spacers. Got a couple of different spacers going on with these machines. Uh, the first one is a 20 millimeter spacer. Second one is a 10 millimeter spacer. And then you've got a series of much smaller ones. Uh, you've got five, three, and two millimeter spacers. This is a two millimeter spacer I have in my hand right now. So this stack up is 10 plus 20 plus 2 makes it 32, 32 millimeters. And this is important because most of the hardware uh, that we buy for our projects is actually built to millimeters as opposed to, um, to inches. So if you see hardware that is uh, labeled as inch and a quarter, it probably is actually 32 millimeters. And the same for hardware that is uh, built to inch and a half, it's probably 38 millimeters. So all of these spacers are based on, on millimeters and so is most of the hardware. So as long as you understand that going in, I think it'll keep you straight. And okay, so now we're going to reinstall everything. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put our blade back in. Again, you want to be really careful with these blades. They're very, very sharp. I'm going to keep saying that because somebody's going to cut themselves. All right, and then the um, the spacers go back in, and then we're going to have this last blade. So that's going to be 32 millimeters between the blades. And of course, you want your spacer. Your last spacer should always be the 20 millimeter because of the way the machine works or is built, um, the 20 millimeter spacer works best as the end piece. Slide that in there, okay. And you take this nut again, and you install it. You install it by hand at this point. And as it starts to snug down, you'll meet a little resistance, that's fine. Okay, and then you're going to use this uh, bar again, and you're going to tighten things up. Sometimes one end works better than the other. Kind of an odd shaped bar, but that's what they provide with the machine. Okay, that's good there. Then you want to get this top cap, or end cap. You're going to line up the pins, line up the bearing. like that and then you're going to get this bolt or handle depending on which uh, which one your machine has this does not have to be gorilla tight okay this just snug this down it's not going anywhere okay all it's doing is keeping this end cap from walking off the end and if for some reason it starts to get loose you're going to notice it anyway so it doesn't have to be uh, super tight Last step that you need to do is adjust the fingers on the back. So come around the back here. And what we want to do is this, this finger is like a fork. And we want to put one tongue of the fork on either side of the blade. And then we're going to tighten this down. One, one of each uh, of these fingers straddling each one of the blades and we do this so that it helps peel the leather off the roll and keeps it from getting double wrapped around the top roll Now sometimes you might need to grab a spare finger out here if you've added on extra blades. If that's the case, you just grab them. And if you have extra fingers, if you've taken blades off the roll, 
then you just slide the fingers down here. We find this is the best place to keep those without actually taking them off the, um, off the roll. So now those are set, all ready to go. You come back around the front, and what you'll do is the last step, one of the last steps, is you'll raise the platform, check to make sure everything's okay. And then finally, you want to put this cover, cover piece back on. This cover piece is important. You do want it on there. It's, it's not just a crazy lawyer safety thing. It's, um, it keeps your fingers from brushing it up against those razors. And heaven forbid that um, you get your finger caught in there and it goes through the machine. That's not going to be a good day. So. Uh, it's important to have these in here. I like to push it up as high as possible. It's still going to clear the razor blades, no problem there. And the last thing you want to do, very last thing before you turn it on, is check for clearances all the way around. Make sure you haven't missed anything. Okay. And then when you do start the machine, you want to start it off very, very slow. Just ease onto the power, watch the, the blades roll, and make sure that you're, you're not having any issues. But Assuming you've done everything correctly, that's how you change the blades. That's how you change the spacing between the blades and uh, get ready to set up for another run of strap cutting. If you have any questions here, uh, just call us here at Solar Leather. Our phone number is 817-366-8105 and we'll be happy to answer your call.